Hello there, and welcome to this video, which is designed for people with long-term illness and chronic conditions, disability, and those people who are really struggling with long COVID. One of the things that has made the difference to me is becoming an expert on me and my condition. Now, that might sound a bit strange to you. Over the years, you'll appreciate I've dealt with many doctors, some of them who have been incredibly supportive, like Professor Finley, some of them who've been anything but supportive. People who are always great at giving me advice. You'll find out if you are someone who's got a long term illness or disability. Everybody is an expert. What you need to do is take this, do that, don't do that. It can be incredibly frustrating. If you did everything that everybody suggested, you'd be bankrupt. You'd have no time to do anything. And so what I'm suggesting to you is start to be the expert on you. You know your body, or at least you're beginning to know your body if you're newly diagnosed get to be the expert in you. I've talked in other videos about you becoming the journalist of your own life. And that means, you know, like a journalist, start to notice the patterns because we all have them. Start to notice what are the signs when you're running out of, of energy. There's a great video on seeing your energy uh, uh, as a bank account that will help if one of your problems is lack of energy like mine. Recognize before you run out of energy, oh, that's the warning sign, I better stop fairly soon, or I better stop now, depending on how far through the warning sign you are. But also notice, do you feel better, for example, when you eat certain things? I was diagnosed with celiac disease at the same time that I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue. Um, I have to be strictly gluten-free, but I know from people I've worked with that many of them have noticed that there are certain outcomes when they eat certain foods. And that doesn't mean that you're allergic. It just means that sometimes your body needs some things more than others. So notice. I'm not suggesting you go on an exclusion diet. No, not at all. Just notice. Keep a diary. It's really, really helpful. I notice that when I drink alcohol, even a small amount, that the next day my skin hurts. I feel as if I'm really sunburned. So the upshot of it is I don't drink alcohol unless I'm at a wedding and I want to drink a glass of champagne to toast the happy couple. And then I think, well, OK, it's worth hurting a bit tomorrow. It may be that you'll notice that certain air pressures make a difference. I've got a friend with a long term condition and when it's windy, she knows that she has to be really, really careful because her condition gets worse. If you know that's the case, then you can listen to the weather forecast and you can plan accordingly. Now, she doesn't wrap herself up in cotton wool and put herself in the wardrobe. No, but she does recognize if it's a windy day, she needs to take more care. So all of this is about becoming the expert in you. You'll see in the book and in other books that I've written and also in some of the videos, I talk about creating a partnership with your medical team. And sometimes you will work with people who are very dogmatic and say, this is what you've got to do. And there will be times when that's completely right. But there are other times when you need to be able to say, I'm not sure about this, or I, I don't want to do that. And for the following reasons. And if you know your own body, you know how you are, then you can do that with some authority. If you're just saying it because you don't want to, it doesn't have the same credibility. But if you can say to the doctor, look, what I've noticed is when I take this or I do that, this is the outcome and it's been quite consistent, they're much more likely to talk to you. When you become the expert in yourself, you are much better able to pace yourself. And the only way you'll do that is by taking notice. And I really urge you to keep notes because I know from myself, if I do repetitive physical actions, whisking an egg, for example, mixing a cake by hand, I can't do it. But even in those times when I do it, 
I pay the price. And one of my challenges is I don't necessarily pay the price straight away. It could be the next day or the day after. And it's only because I've started to notice the pattern that I know, yeah, I can push beyond my limitations on a particular day. And for me, it's going to be the day after and the day after that, that I really suffer and struggle. But I know of se several of the people that I've worked with that their patterns are a bit bizarre, really. But there is a pattern there when they've looked for it. So I'm urging you, take control of those things that you have control over and notice the patterns. And then you can talk to your doctors, your physios, your OTs about what those patterns are, rather than saying, I don't know. You do have some control over some things and ultimately taking that control will make you feel better. So I hope it's been useful. Remember, there is a book companion to this. The details are, are in the description, but also there's a whole range of videos and I'm adding to them all the time to help you. Now, I'd love to hear your story and I'd love to hear your challenges because some of my videos are being created as a result of hearing about your challenges. And I think, well, I've dealt with that or one of the clients that I've worked with has dealt with that. So email me at Gina at genuinely hyphen you, genuinely, then a dash you.com and Gina is G-I-N-A. Let me know your story and let me see if I can help you. I've got pretty well 40 years, well, 39 years experience of this. I've, I've really recognized that being an expert in me has made such a difference. So thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.